Hey there, I'm Julie, Faith Van Balzer, and today I'm going to take you on a brief tour of the brand new Canvas Workspace for your PC. So I'm here at Canvas Workspace, which used to be called Scan and Cut Canvas. You can see when you first navigate there, you get this message that Scan and Cut Canvas has changed. And you can see even the logo has changed. It's no longer Scan and Cut Canvas. It's now Canvas Workspace. And the reason for this is because now it works with Design and Cut as well. So it wouldn't be fair to call it just Scan and Cut Canvas. So all you need to do is just say, OK because everything else is pretty much going to be the same. You can see it opens up to the home page, and then you can go ahead and log in. I do want to point out right here that there are digital cut patterns now on brothermall.com, and you can check those out as well. So let's log in. You can click Remember Me so that every time you log in, it will always come back. Now, this is really exciting. This pop-up window comes up and says there is Canvas Workspace for PC. Now notice it is PC only. It does not work on a Mac. So if you want to not have to use the internet to use Canvas Workspace, you can do it now, but only if you have a PC. So if you want to download it, you simply click download. If you don't, you could just hit the close button and move on. You could also say, don't ask me again if you're on a Mac. And that way you'll never get asked again. So I'm going to say download. It's going to take me to a page on the Brother website, and I'm going to pick which machine I have. I have the CM650. And then it's going to detect everything, and then I simply hit search. And now it's going to offer me the Canvas Workspace download. You can see it right there. Now you can read some notes before downloading. You need to look at the um, end user license agreement here. And once you've read it, you can just click that you agree. And it's going to automatically start to download your new software. And once it has downloaded, I'm going to open it. Now it's going to welcome me to the Brother Canvas Workspace setup. So I'm going to say next. Ready to install? Yes, let's install it. Yay! So it's completing. I'm ready. You can see the checkbox right here that says Launch Brother Canvas Workspace. And we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'll just hit finish. And now it's going to automatically launch the new desktop based. Thing. So now I'm going to put in my own login and sign in. So remember, this is the same login that I was using on Canvas Workspace Online. So it's the same account. Okay. So here you go. Here I am in Canvas Workspace. It looks a little bit different than the online version, but I can now use this offline whenever I want. So let's take a peek through some of the basics here. So you can see you ha I have all my shapes. And if I scroll down, right, they're divided a little bit differently than they were previously. Okay. The next choice down, if I click on that, that's borders. You can see many of the same borders from Canvas Workspace Online. And then here, you're going to see all sorts of words. Again, many of the same ones that are built into the machine and from Canvas Workspace. Now, if I click on the big T, okay, that's going to be text. So now I have my cursor and I can enter whatever I want. And I can go ahead and, you know, manipulate it as I want. Now you can see in the properties panel, that's where you're going to do your manipulation over on the right side. So the text font is currently there and I can change it to something else. And I can change it from a cut to draw or whatever else I want to manipulate over there. Okay. Now, SVG is going to be the same the way that it is when you are using the online version, which is you're going to be able to import anything that you want. So I'm just going to cancel because I'm not going to do that right now. It'll read FCM and uh, SVG files. This shape is image tracing. So this is when you want to bring in 
as you can see, it says there a PNG, a JPEG, a, G a GIF or a GIF, depending how you pronounce it, and a BMP file. Okay, so you can do that the same as always. I'm just going to hit cancel here. The next one down, this is when you're dealing with vector points and you want to click, drag, click, drag, and then double click to end it. Same as in Canvas Workspace Online, and now I have right a triangle space that I can use for whatever I want. Okay, um, this is the freehand path tool. It also exists online, and you can just go ahead. You can see, and now you don't need to do the clicking. But now I have a shape that I can cut. If you if you were wondering how to draw freehand, that's how. Um, you have an undo button. You have a redo button. This is your select tool. This is your hand tool. And this is the zoom tool. So you can go ahead and zoom in. You can also just click on here when you have the zoom tool selected to zoom in. The hand tool is obviously going to help you move the entire screen over, whereas the clicker tool is going to help you move a single object. Okay. Now you'll notice that when I have this object selected up at the top bar, there are several other things that come up. I can change it right here to cut or draw. I can add a fill color if I want. Again, that just helps me see things a little bit better. Um, and then I can see, for instance, that this shape is on top of the triangle, right? Which I wasn't able to see before. I can change the line width up here. I can get rid of the line color if I want. I can even change what kind of thing. This is how you make a perf or perforation. You have all these different line pattern choices. Now there is a menu right up top here. So file, new, if you want to start a new project, open a saved file, you want to save something, um, import. There are a lot of these things that are the same. If you want to transfer it, if you want to export it and quit, edit, it's going to be a lot of the same things. Undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, select, all deselect, etc. So line operation right here, this is just cut or draw. Pretty easy. You can flip your design horizontally or vertical. You can align. This is one of my favorite tools always and process overlap. By the way, the reason that the align isn't opening is I've only selected one item. If I were to select, let's say two items, okay, then I go to align and there you go, aligns left, align center, et cetera, et cetera. Process overlap, that's all your welding tools. And the offset line is again, the border around it. Now, if I go to layer, this is a brand new idea in some ways, which is like I said, the squiggly design is over the triangle. So if I wanted to um, arrange that differently, right? Selected my purple triangle and I'm gonna go to layer. And I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to say uh, bring to front. So now you can see it's in front of that squiggly line. If I go to layer again and I say arrange and I say send to back, not only is it behind a squiggly line, it's behind the Julie as well. So I can really determine. Now this uh, does exist in Scanica Canvas. It's just not called layer or in Canvas Workspace Online rather. So now one of the new exciting things is that you can lock. What does that mean? So I've locked this purple triangle. That means even if I select everything here, it is not getting selected. So if you have something in your design that you like, that you're happy with, you can lock it and then you're never going to disturb it. I am probably the most excited about this lock feature more than anything else. And when you want to unlock something, okay, you're going to go to layer and unlock all, that's gonna unlock everything. But now you can see I can grab and move this. So if you had multiple things, you can't unlock just one thing because obviously you can't select just one thing. Now, if we go over to display, you can see this is all the ways that you see things. Do you wanna zoom in? Do you wanna zoom out? What kind of units are you using? Do you wanna see the ruler, et cetera, et cetera. Help. This is gonna guide you to any kind of online video tutorials or the quick start guide, anything like that that you need. Now, over here on the right, as I mentioned, is the properties panel and that's allowing you to customize and change things, you know, however that you want. Then this next one down, if you click on that, this is the edit. So if you didn't wanna drag it, but you just wanted to nudge it, so this XY, this is on an XY axis, 
or axis, I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. Um, and that's what's going to allow you to nudge things around. And again, you could change the width. If you didn't want to maintain the aspect ratio, meaning you just wanted to make it wider, you could do that. Okay. Um, you can transform it, transform the angle. We can flip it. And all of these touch buttons are just so easy to use. Now, again, if I select multiple items, that those align tools will come up and then I can align at center. So all those things that are in the menu at the top also exist here on the side. I think it's a little more user friendly. Process overlap, we could weld it. We can undo that if we don't like it, okay? And again, the offset, oops, let me highlight this. And the offset is down there as well for you if you wanna use that. And again, the offset line is just something that adds a border around and you can customize that in lots of different ways. This next one is the layers palette, and I love it because you can see each of your layers here, and this is another way that you can lock it. So now I've locked the shape, okay? And now what you'll see happen is if I select here, I can move everything, but that shape is not going anywhere, which is super exciting. So now let's say I lock two things, and I just want to unlock one more. This is an easier way to do it, I think, than using the menu, okay? Now the eyes are to make things appear and disappear. Do you wanna see it or not? It's still there, but maybe I don't wanna see it. Maybe it's confusing to me. You can also see that right now this is a draw file. Let's say I wanna make it a cut file instead. You can change it right from here. This is going to change my life, you guys. I'm unbelievably excited about the layers. Now, artboard. So this is saying the size of the artboard, meaning do you want a 12 by 24? Okay, or do you want your 12 by 12? How easy is that to change? Again, you can change the units to inches or millimeters, depending. You can show the ruler if you want so you can see it. You can show the matte image or not. You can show the grid or not. You can also, what is snap to grid? So snap to grid is, let's say I want this, oh, I think that's locked, to just immediately when I'm moving it around, it's going to hit all the grid lines so that I know it's straight. It's a little bit hard to see how it's doing that, but let me turn it off and maybe you'll see how it doesn't. It's much smoother when you don't do it because now I can place it anywhere. If it's snapped to grid, it wants to cling to those lines. So every time I move it, it just kind of snaps into place. Um, and you can change the grid spacing if you wanted. So if you wanted a smaller grid, right, I can make it really small so I can line things up differently. So this is a really exciting, in my opinion, big new step. I, I encourage you to try out Canvas Workspace for your PC. I, I think you're going to love it. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at balldesigns.typepad.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, visit the Scanning Cut website at scanningcut.com.